That's a great shot of you over there. I've never seen that picture. Ah, uh, thank you. Hashtag bodybuilding. What's up, Mike? Good. How hey. are you? What's up? Guys, I want to get back to what we said last week. Because before last week's podcast, I messaged Mike and I told Mike, I said, Mike, if you come in looking like this, you're going to be fighting for a top spot. Is that what I said? Yeah. Mike. Yep. But let hold me on, tell hold you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then I saw the video with you and Ramon. And Ramon. what did I say? I said, he must be super flat or something because that's not what he looked like. Tell me yeah. I'm right, please. You're right. Of okay, course you're perfect. right. Okay, perfect. Because I was a little, I was like, wait a minute. I was a little let down. I said, that's not the mic, the pictures that I saw. So, but I guess, you know, flat day. The, the, the Instagram bodybuilder and then there's the for real. <laughs> yeah, Ramon, you know, Ramon was smart. He was a step ahead of me. So he looked actually bigger. I'm not, but, even, I mean, I'm not even talking I'm about the size. Stage. I didn't talk about the size, to be honest. It was just the, 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 the condition. It just looked like he was far ahead of you. But I know your condition was much better than that video on the stuff that I saw prior. So I figured it was maybe a flat day, and sometimes you look a little softer on certain days, which is a normal right. thing to do. Milos knows all about that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, we all appreciate your physique, and you have that width and, and classic shape. And when you're lean, yeah, as uh, Dennis says, when you're flat, you can create the illusion of being off, way behind, soft, and all that stuff. So I haven't really seen uh, that video with the Ramon, but Ramon is one of those that can be peeled. So I can only assume that he was peeled and maybe uh, carved up a little bit. Yeah. Mike I, I know Mike for many years now. I know before he was pro. And, he, he's, and he's been hearing this not only for me, from everybody, that if I look at all the classic guys today, even bodybuilding, he has one of the most beautiful shapes of all of them. So when it comes to lines, exactly what we always talk about, it's Mike. The only issue he had all these years is to get in crazy condition. I mean, he pulled off good placings with not even being close to 100%. That tells you how good of a shape he really has and the proportions. Everything is perfect. If he brings the condition that he needs to, if he brings, let's say, Olympia level condition, I think he can hang with the top five and, and battle. I'm Sounds sure that's his plan. Like plan. I'm waiting for Chris to start, you know, breaking you down. What am I start. supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> you handling it? <laughs> no, but he got he, Mike. You got fifth at the Olympia. What? Two years ago? Three years ago? Two years ago? Two years ago. Correct. Two years ago, and then. Um, kind of fell back uh, last year a little bit. Was it, what, eighth? Correct. Okay. So what, what changed from last year, and what, do you, what would you say you, where you're at now compared to uh, two years ago when you placed fifth? Oh, I will bring some more pounds on stage this year, and my condition will even be better than two years before, 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what, what we, we, we created basically a complete new look, fuller, rounder, more muscular, and we changed a lot of posing. Uh huh. So, um, my question is the etched out muscle. Is, is that going to be different? Or you mean you said muscular or more muscular? Because uh, there was a time where people were saying Breon is too muscular for a classic division. Do you feel like you're like looking, looking more like a open fullness? size type muscular body or are you talking about a classic which is basically we, etched out you know separated muscle 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 we compared pictures from the past i would say four years and we found out in the last stages of prep especially last two weeks we're losing a little bit of volume just to make sure we're making weight and they increase the weight cap as you guys know so we have the chance to bring some more pounds on stage with give what gives me a better, fuller, more complete look, I would say. We worked a lot on back and hams. That was criticized and I got good feedback to work on back and hams. We did that, we improved that. So we will see in about like 10, 10 days from now. Realistically, Mike, honest, when you when you go to bed at night, what what do you tell yourself? Where 
how much damage can you do? But you know, we know who's coming. We know there's going to be Chris Bumstead. We know there's going to be a Wesley, a new and improved Wesley. We know there's Urs and Ramon and a couple of others that we, we need to mention. Brian, of course. So where do you really see yourself at this point? It's hard to say because I bet that everyone will bring their A game. First of all, it's the 60th anniversary of the Olympia this year. I know that Wesley has huge momentum. I know Ramon, he's fighting for the top spot. We don't need to talk about Chris. We have Brion, which he has incredible strong points, especially back details, his posing, his confidence. We have many, many good guys this year on stage. And it's not like just 20. We talk about 50, whatever, athletes. 62. 62 athletes. <laughs> 63. <laughs> That's huge, guys. That's huge. And Milos trains about 25 of them. <laughs> At least. All of them. <laughs> but, but think about this, 63. How are you going to even do comparisons, man? I thought about this the other day. I was like, what the hell? I mean, and this is all happening before... Oh no! This is all happening at the uh, at the at the expo. So prejudging on Friday morning is probably going to take two hours, two and a half hours. I don't know. I mean, what would I do if I had 62 yeah. competitors? Because you know, there's only 10 or 15 is in the top 15. I would <laughs> I would literally have them come out in groups, and I would eliminate immediately everybody group. Do the comparisons back, group comparisons back, and then you call, I don't know, how, however, how many of you want to bring out. And the they, rest, they, I'm, I'm sorry. They, you know, they, they earn Olympic qualification, you know, you can't do that. I know, like, but... I'm just thinking, there's no way that everybody can go for one minute uh, posing routine. Okay. That would, that well, would we're talking an hour and a half right there. Uh, 2001 at the Night of the Champions, uh, I was there... There was not individual posing. I came, uh, it, there was two guys at a time, you know, so they, they're short. Maybe they're going to do like three guys at a time. Hmm. Or, you know, if you think 63, if it's six uh, in a group, there's going to be 10 comparisons, you know, maybe going to throw in seven at the last few. Yeah. You know, shit. I, I don't know. Do you have yeah. any idea, Mike, what's happening? Um, in case that's the 60th anniversary, so they might change something. I don't know if it's the the way they do the comparisons. What Milos just said is pretty smart, I guess. Just bring like 10 people out, do the comparisons, just quick quarter turns, two, three poses, down with the group, select top 15, top 20, bring them out in two groups, 10 and 10, and then decide top 10, See, top that, five. That's, that's basically what I said. You eliminate yeah, you said. <laughs> I understand Milos. I mean, everybody wor was working hard to get the qualification and everyone should have their time on stage. But we're talking about over 60 athletes and we're talking about people sitting in the crowd and waiting and waiting and waiting. Maybe that's not the best idea, but we will see. Yeah. They, they, they do their I mean, job. There's a lot of people well. that have people fly in from out of the country to see them on stage. So they probably want to see them on stage just a little bit. It's hard. Yeah. I mean, I feel bad for... for uh, for uh, the judges too, because this is this is hard. I mean, 62, 63 competitors, and I'm guarantee you they're all going to look great at, at you know at, at, for, for you know they're all going to bring a good package. But you got to find somehow the, ten, the top ten. Or I think only the top ten or the top fifteen going through the finals at night. Yeah, but not just that. L listen, if uh, you just you are number one, and the, and uh, Mike is number sixty three, by the time he goes on the stage. You're going to be an hour and a half waiting yeah. to get out. And, you know, Dennis, you know very well what that meant, like, you know, for you when you're backstage, pumped up, ready to go, and then you have to wait for, like, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you know, yeah. shit. Yeah. Your body changes. Extra burgers. Uh, I, I really don't know how they're going to uh, over overlook these 63 people. And should be that many people qualified? Uh, I, I think we should have oh. we should have a cap. Oh, how many people can qualify? Seriously, yeah, you know? I mean, we, I think we talked about this before. I, yeah, is there a way to look at a person and be like, "Hey, you, you're not going to be the top 15. You won this show, but well, if you let me qualify, no, you can't say Congratulations. that. Congratulations! No, you can't see Chris. See, see, that's that's that's, in, that's I'm going to cut you off. <laughs> no, if you qualify for the Olympia, they're going to have to let you compete. But yeah, it, they should make it a little bit harder. The problem is. 
And this classic physique is the most popular category now. Can we all agree? Yeah, I was just say open, open. I'm talking you know. mainstream. Yeah, I'm going, I'm, I'm, when, I'm talking, more, when I'm talking mainstream. Classic, classic, is, classic is more intense. Yeah, for but me. It's, it's also the most. I, I, I would say it's the most I mean, popular as as mainstream, the, crowd, the most popular. Thanks to Chris Bumstead and and some of the other um, <laughs> some of the other uh, guys. You can just see it on their following. It's, it's just more different. Intense, I'm sure. not saying, I'm, I'm Chris, I'm not saying that they're going to change it to the classic Physique Olympia. That's never going to happen. But I'm saying that this is uh, probably the most eyeballs is on classic. Yeah. So now, on, because I'm on, trying to explain yeah. to you what I'm saying, I forgot what I wanted to say. Well, where, what, were we talking, what were we talking about? What, what, I, what I think is the smartest idea is to set a total number of classic physique Olympia qualifiers, let's say 35 plus, maybe five in the end of the year. So we have total of 40 competitions, maybe 40 athletes. I still, know that some athletes might win lot. multiple shows. Um, maybe we end up being 30 on stage, which is fine. Now I remember what I wanted to say. What I wanted to say was the problem is that because classic is so popular, and when it comes to you know promoting a classic pro show, it's it's much cheaper than bringing some of the other categories, and therefore everybody wants to do classic physique. And if there's more show, there's more people qualifying. That's why we have that many comp. I mean, sixty three. Can you imagine? That means sixty three individuals qualified for one event. What you know statistics. Know? What do we mean? How, how many men's physique? Uh, how many bikinis? It's probably the same because they are also in the same bracket when it comes to sanction fees and prize money. Not everybody can afford to bring the big boys and pay the prize money for the big boys because that's we're talking, you know, that's some, there's some money coming out of your pocket. So if you can bring the classic yeah, and you know yeah, save yeah, some yeah, money, yeah, yeah, yeah. you that's see what it. I'm saying? Yeah. So and therefore there's a lot of bikini, a lot of uh, uh, classic physique, and I don't know why because figure was super strong at one point in the national league. Now figure is. is is decreasing, I mean, decreasing everywhere. Even the, the pros and even the amateurs, you know. I used to have so many figure girls, now it's just bikini, wellness. They're still, they're still pretty popular. And, and I don't know why figure girls and even fitness is less uh, um, entries and competitions. I mean, I've been seeing this for years now, dec de declining. He can still there, man. Let, let's go back to Mike. Mike, okay, I never really talked to you. So, as Dennis said, you have a, one of the craziest V tapers, X frames, hashtag bodybuilding type of physique. That picture behind you, uh, you know, everybody sees that. I mean, that that's uh, advertisement for bodybuilding. Everybody wants to look like that. But you go against a Chris, uh, you know, who who is structurally, uh, you know, almost perfect. Uh, and then you go Ramon and Vasily and Brian and Urs. Might be, you might be modest, but do you think you have a better structure and shape than them? Thinking of uh, how wide your clavicles are, the shape of the muscle. Uh, where do you think you can beat them and where do you think they have something over you? When it comes to bone structure, I'm blessed. As you said, clavicularis are very wide. My waist is pretty small still, thank God. But there are so many more things you need to take care of. It's the condition, it's the posing, it's your confidence. And it's not about just the, the bones and the frame. It's about how you feel that. Like, how does it look in the final stages when the your package is complete? I think this is what we are missing at the moment a little bit. We are focused on how muscular and how conditioned an athlete is, but I think that we should prioritize the full, complete look from bottom to the top. Th this is my true understanding of bodybuilding. It's not about the most conditioned guy all the time. It's a huge, huge, huge point, of course. But you need to see the whole picture, I guess. And I believe if I can bring high level condition, high level fullness, high level presentation, confidence, posing, my bone structure will help me to get some extra points for sure. So you're not like a just conditioned guy, but then you also mentioned fullness. Now, how much fullness is important in classic physique, you know, considering that the Chris just said, 
Uh, Brion was maybe judged as too muscular, too big, looking like 212, for example. So now, uh, for open division, I know we sometimes go for that full look. In classic, would you really go for a really <laughs> look and sacrifice the conditioning just to have that impression of a more size? No, definitely not. I would rather pick the sweet spot in between. Have a really nice, good ass condition, deep striated, but still making sure that these fibers visible and still full at the same time. So when it comes to Brion, he has a pretty classic look, if you ask me, depending on posing and how how he's walking, how he's acting. Like he is a classic guy, 100%. What I can see when people say, yeah, he's more into bodybuilding. This is where everything comes together. He could be... Let's let's say Flex Wheeler. He was an open bodybuilder, huge, like heavier than every one of us. And he st still kept the, the classic look, round, full muscle, good condition. And uh, of course, we, we're not allowed to get that weight, right? We're not how allowed much, to be How much do you think Flex weighted, let's say, uh, the 93 Arnold Classic or the 93 Olympia? 240. <laughs> He was under 100 kilos. No way. I'm telling you, he was 218 pounds. Chris, am I lying? Well, at the Arnold Classic, he was 218. Uh, he might have been a little heavier at the, the Olympia, but he was definitely in 220-something. Yeah. I think it was 217. Really. Yeah, yeah, I heard 216, yeah, I but I think Flex told me at one point it was 218. But then again, what does not matter? 218, 16, 17, he was under 100 kilos. Yeah. See? The, but the you full see? That's what illusion can do to you. It make you think he's 240, but he's not. He wasn't. That's what I wanted to say, exactly. We, I, I'm trying to find the sweet spot to create that look. Being not that heavy, but looking peeled, full round, aesthetic, the plastic, nice popping look. This is what I'm shooting for. See, I, I want to define this. I thought it was a classic bodybuilding, mm -hmm. but that's, you know, it's classic physique. And there was like a difference. I prefer it would be classic bodybuilding, so you look like Serge Nubre type of physique, right? You know, the classic bodybuilding. No, no, no. Like 2017 when I came, and they explained me in 2018 again when Brion looked crazy and, and Peterson, and they lost to Chris Bamstad, right? And it's like, how can this possibly be? You know, they you have a, a front double, back double, and these guys have a crazy arms, crazy back, and Chris Bamstad at that time didn't have. Well, no, it's a structure, but you know, as, uh, as Mike, you said, it's not just a bone structure. <laughs> it's it was the height too. It's how you fill up that structure, right? But it's oh, it's not classic bodybuilding. It's classic physique. We're looking for the you know structure and shape. Ooh, I, I think that uh, muscle should be a little bit more appreciated, right? And, and for me, I would let them probably even you know a few more pounds because uh, Mike, you said before. You have to sacrifice your physique to make the cut. And then sometimes, and Brion did this, this too, right? Like yeah. a few times. And, and as we the know, and Dennis points out this uh, the most, like whatever weakness is, you know, let's say legs, and then you have to dig down to, you know, 10 pounds less, legs goes first. Yeah. You know, completely change your physique. So what do we want? Do we want to scale or we want to look? I, I think that we should allow like a few more pounds. And then if you look like a bodybuilder that just penalize you and you don't place well, so you know next time you have to scale down. Yeah. But to ask you that question one more time, Mike, where do you see yourself placing? What's your personal goal? Are you a person? <laughs> what are you looking at? My what? personal goal is to not think about things I cannot change. Stop it. We Kids, tell me what you tell me. You have a goal every time you go to bed. You have a goal. This is where you want to see yourself. Everyone has a goal, Dennis. That's everyone what I'm saying. Come on, let it. Every one of us was fighting on stage. Mm -hmm. You guys know exactly what I'm thinking. You don't I, need to. I, no, I don't. I don't because I, I I know people. They said I want to be top six. I want to be in the first call out, and some people say I'm I'm here to win. I cannot tell you what placing. I'm going to get. That's not my not. job. Of course not. I'm, I'm doing everything I can, believe me. But my my dream, 
what I was dreaming since I was 11 years old. I wanted to win the Olympia, of course, and it never stopped, but this is a dream. I know for a fact that I have to fight, I have to work, and life hasn't given me the chance to become Mr. Olympia, maybe for a reason. Maybe I wasn't ready. Maybe I don't have all the tools ready to be a champion. But we will see in a few days if if life allows me to be a true champion. Mm. I will fight for it. And if the judges decide that it's my time, it's my time. If not, I need to make sure that I learn all the lessons to become a champion. Yeah. I mean, we have a few guys from Germany in the Olympia. We got that you, we have Urs, and we have Luca Rega. Is there another one? No. German. So no, that's no, three. No so I, I would think as a German, you would your first goal would be the best German coming out of this show. Right? Yeah. Milos is laughing. You know what I'm trying to say. Isn't that really your goal for you to say, okay, I got to be in front of the other two guys representing the same country? Or are I you want in front of everyone. Do you, do you think uh, you are the best classic German competitor or you think Urs surpassed you or do you think uh, you guys are still back and forth? Mm, it, it has been close. 2019, I was able to beat him. He just turned pro. 2021 Olympia qualifier, I was able to beat him. Then he was beating me at the Olympia and again. But as far as I know, I made dramatic changes this year. I was going to say you changed a lot. A lot. I have no idea how he's looking. I have no idea how his stage presentation is, how confident he is. Did he change? I don't know. The judges will decide. Hmm. Well, if you ask me who who has the better structure out of Urs, and I, and I love Urs, but it's Mike. Mike has the structure. He 100% has the structure on all of them. Even Chris Bumstead. I'm sorry to say, tell you guys. Milos, check out his pictures. Sorry. Check him out. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Yes, you know. The structure, I got, and I got to give it to this guy. All he needs to do, and he has never showed us this before, is to come in in Olympia-level condition. And then we'll have to see what he looks like, because that must be that's a that can be like a different level. Mm. When it comes to beauty, I mean everything. I I, I got to tell you, I got to give it to him, you know. But the condition needs to be spot on. You can't be slightly off, you know. You'll you'll be okay to to place in the top five or top six, but in order to crack the top three or fight for the title, you need to be peeled out of your mind. Think for about the first top time. ten. Huh? Uh, tenth guy beats 53 other guys. Yeah. 53 <laughs> Olympians, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mike, when you say you improved your back, like what, what part of your back has improved? Like what, what will we be witnessing on stage? Whip and death, 100%. Uh, can, we, uh, can we go, uh, ask to, do you have something on your Instagram? Go to Mike Sommerfeld. For sure. So but you know what, guys? S-O-M-M-E-R-F-E-L-D. You, See if we can it, find some back poses. In the meantime, if you guys are looking, I have a picture for you, if you're interested. All right. Pictures. Turn around and hit one, Mike. Uh, Dennis, you need to allow me to share pictures. Oh. oh. The host no, needs to on, allow me on. to share pictures. Hold on. But hey, but I don't want to. I don't want to see Gob going doing another damn story on you with Photoshop and pictures. It better not be one of them. <laughs> the goop, <laughs> goop, yeah. What was up? With, hey, what's up with that, anyways? Are you are That's you photoshopping your pictures? Guy. Such a weird guy. I got. Hey, uh, listen, uh, the guy is not really weird. He's just he's just calling people out. Yeah, but he's lying. What do you mean? Is he? He put out a story, I don't know, one week ago, two weeks ago, some thing with a designer. I don't care I'm about that. that. Who cares? I'm talking about pictures. Did you Photoshop a picture that he mentioned? I've never ever used Photoshop. Okay. Or did someone else maybe did, did do it? Not he said, as far as I know. Yeah. Because I had to upload it, obviously. Because yeah. he's but calling people out left and right. Chris, you know. 
Goop, Goop is his name. I love Goop. this stuff. I, I edit my I'll photo like with lightning and contrast, like the darkness and, and Okay, so like now that. when you show us a picture, is that edited too? Because I would prefer something unedited, raw. Supernatural. Raw. Hey. Like back in the Just day. Just the way I would see you when I see you, huh? Milos. Yeah, like, uh, like uh, take a shirt off and pose for us right now yeah. because you <laughs> <laughs> out. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. Show us what's up. Yeah, show us a back double biceps. Hey, Melvin Anthony posed for us anyway. I'd be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. But anyway, yeah. Uh, can you, check, can you show us the picture? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm curious to see it. I want to analyze it. Mike. Why do you always wear those long, long ass socks? socks. <laughs> oh, wait, before we talk about that, let me share the picture here. Before we talk about that, <laughs> uh, I was going to ask that question, but you beat me to it. What happened? Just, Could you give me that permission? Real you have quick? permission. You have permission. Everybody has no. permission. The host. Uh, can I show my toenails? Oh, yeah. He activated. Oh, <laughs> we got them, Milos. We got them. Yeah, we, yeah, Milos sent us a picture. This is for all we the fans. We got it on the text. He sent us we a picture, it. man. I didn't eat all day. Uh, <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> I I've been on zero coffee ever since. <laughs> Mike, yeah, share. share it. And now I can share. Amazing. Okay, give me a second. Uh, where is it? This is edited, right? Lights and lights and... At 17%, whatever. <laughs> lights and... Uh, what what, what I'm showing be... you now is a total natural photo. Oh. Are we going... Can you see? Are we going that far back? Yeah, we see that. Well, yeah. we can look looking for this here. I don't know which one you are. You know, in the middle, to the right, to the left? <laughs> You're which... not in the middle. <laughs> You know what, guys? That's not right. me. That's not me. You know who that is? I don't know. Oh, that's, that's me. Dennis. That's you, <laughs> goddamn. Look at you. Oh, my God. That's Jesus Dennis Christ. James. And the right guy is my dad. You competed against each other. You remember? I don't remember. But I. this can only be because I can see that? this was in October 85. I started training in March 85, and I did this show in, in October. That was it. That was me in six months of training. No way. Get I'm telling here, you. I, what, why, why, why would I lie? You <laughs> told me you didn't I, compete until the 90s. Liar. I, I, no, I didn't tell you that. I, why would I tell you that when I know pictures out? <laughs> I started lifting weights in Waldorf. And Mike, you might know the Olympia Damals. The small, well, it was a small gym street? by... In, in, and I started in March, 85. I remember yeah, Thomas, Gundelfinger, Thomas Gundelfinger and Jochen Rautenstrauch, who's one of the judges today, he dared me to come to the gym and train with him. I started, and literally three months later, the, oh, the owner told me, you should compete, man, you should compete. I said, are you serious? And I went to that show. It was in Mannheim in the Rosengarten. It was the International uh, Sud uh, South German Newcomer something. And I won. I won the whole show. Definitely, you did. I had Am no I idea. I had no idea what the hell I was doing, to be honest. Seven months? That, that's crazy. That's man. it. Where'd From March to October. Muscular? Huh? Where did you learn, learn that most muscular? Hey, I, hey, I hey. still have how, how much did you bench? You crap. How much did you bench first time you went to the gym? No, I don't know. I can't tell you how much I benched. But I can tell you what my first squat was. Okay. Three plates. And I didn't know that was heavy. I just knew that somebody else was doing it, and I thought I'm going to do it the same. And I went in there, and I squatted three plates, my first squat. Yeah, you, you can bench anything you put on that fucking barbell. I know, but back, I didn't, I didn't know. I, didn't, I had no idea. And I didn't even know that this was so heavy. I was like, fuck, I got up, but I put it back. <laughs> hey, Mike, what is your picture? I mean, that, that was great. Thank you for showing. I, I didn't recognize Dennis at, at first. Yeah, I didn't Dennis, recognize myself. <laughs> That hair was cringe. <laughs> and, the, and, and, the, and the one on the side was your father. Yeah, on the right side. Uber, yeah, nice, nice cat too. Wow. So I just airdropped the pictures on my laptop, and I can share it in a few seconds. Man, you computer savvy, huh? Why do you guys wear the hats inside the house?
Let me because see. it has some swag. I'm not, yeah. <laughs> I'm like the young kids. Put the sunglasses too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In the meantime, we should, um, hold on. Okay, I got the pictures. Oh, by the way, Mike at least has an IBB hat. What do you have? Me? Yeah. Dark sport. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about the talks real quick. Um, I found out 2018 that I have a gene sickness, so all my skin came off. There's a YouTube video like you could pull my skin from my body. My body is not able to produce hemoglobin in seven correct following steps. So uh, what happens? Circulation. Toxic, get into my my skin if i go out in the uv light it reacts like a chemical burning and it destroys my skin this is why i have the tattoos on my hand because i was shaking hands and they peeled off my skin same thing when i was sitting on the couch or i was hitting something with my chins or my legs my skin just came off and it took like one or two weeks to heal so i decided okay so are you saying that the socks they're going to protect you from hitting yourself and the skin won't come off if you wear socks or they will exactly. come off underneath the socks if I hit my legs harder, they will come off under my socks, huh. but they protect me in kind of way. It's not that bad anymore. I just don't want to have more scars. It looked very, very ugly. Like all these dots on my on my legs, my hands, my face, my arms. I'm still having a lot of scars just from band-aids. It looks they like compression socks to me. Yeah, they are compression. I mean like for circulation, huh? No, it's not about circulation. No? Like, not circulation. I, to be honest, I just tried to cover my small little calves. Okay. Well, well, that's what it seems like, you know. When when we see it, that's the first suspicion that we have. But uh, okay, again, can we can we, can we take that booty off my screen now, please? Because <laughs> <laughs> all I got is ass picture. in my face right now. Yeah. Are you gonna cock it like that? Or are you gonna? <laughs> <laughs> I have permission to go on stage with my socks. So you're going to see me compete with socks this year. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the back, you see the back, the back development okay. is like all the way down to the, to the trunks. <laughs> no, no, but it's like, again, are you going I, to cock it like that? <laughs> you know, uh, I just uh, have to speak oh. my mind. When you take a pictures, pictures are forever. And, uh, you know, you can roll down those socks just for a picture and then roll them back up. You know, when you're standing right there taking pictures, there's no way you can bump into anything, you know? Yeah, but I don't care about the socks. I like them. Yeah, but we don't, you know. So you the, don't? The rest of the world... Yeah, you know, like I don't really care if he wears the socks. It doesn't bother me. I, I used to have the girls wear the socks all the way up to here. I love that shit. <laughs> the thigh highs. The thigh highs. <laughs> nah, nah. There's a reason for everything, so he's obviously got a reason to wear them socks. So he's been doing this for a few years but, now. Uh, he's showing us back is very much improved. I, I didn't realize. I mean, you're kind of short torso, right? Which uh, a lot of people in bodybuilding that that is advantage. You know, short torso and longer legs. Back, yeah. Mm -hmm. For the back yeah. double. Well, we didn't see we didn't see strided glutes, right? Oh so, yeah, I was push, I was pushing my ass my out. out. Talking it. My glute striations. I'm pretty much known for that, especially from the side. That's not a problem at all. Oh, good, good. Okay. Yeah. Bro, do we do we uh? Can you go on this page? Yeah. Just one more time, because I want to see. There's a video on that, that I want to see. Uh oh, so he's starting see, to analyze it. When we see it moving, it, it's it's always a little better. Not I can't remember which one, but I think if I see it, I will remember. In the meantime, hey Milos, are you going to uh, Utah? Yep. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's in Utah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Try. Let, let's see that one. Let me, let, ooh. 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 But that, that's many weeks ago already. 
Doesn't matter. I'm just want I just want to see the guys see the shape. Holy shit. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Look at that. But I'm still wearing the socks, Milos. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fuck up thing in this whole video. <laughs> look, Come look, on. Look at that, Milos. Look at that. That's that's what I'm trying to say. His, I know. His, his structure is unmatched. And come on, uh, the socks creation. are not distracting. I'm not Milos, looking at the socks. On the creations. Don't focus on the socks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah, that's oh, down to my glutes. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, Mike. And this is okay. weeks. This is weeks ago. You're gonna see me fucking peeled. Oh, now he's coming out of his shell. Look at sound. Look, <laughs> listen to him. Oh, all we had to do is just play his own video. Hey, that's a ten times better. Than I wouldn't. A, I wouldn't stick your ass out like that, though. I, I already talked with the judges. I know exactly what to do. I wouldn't do that because you know Diddy's friends are still out there somewhere. But if you want to can make your glutes smaller. Or... Holy shit! Look at, Look at that. Yeah, that's that's crazy, huh? Because you was going, you were going open at one time, Mike. Can you <laughs> tell me? No. You didn't tell me that. Huh. I've never competed in open. I, I, oh, turned I, said, I, no, I thought when building. you had gained all this weight, I'd ask you, like... Thanks, Kylie. Oh, we're, we're in Dubai, I think. Yeah, yeah. I had a good off-season, honestly. Dubai is a great place to grow. Um, but it was never... It has never been my plan to compete in oh, open. Okay. Mike, this was, this was super impressive. Better than I remember you. This is, like, complete. No, he changed. He changed. He put... Listen, yeah. I don't usually text people and, and give them props when, you know, unless I see so, some major change. Well, you see, because sometimes it takes years for people to come into their own. And, and I guess, mm -hmm. you know, we were at a point where we thought, you know, Mike has the best structure. And not, it's not only me saying that. It's a, everybody in Germany is saying that, too. The best structure, but he can't get the condition. So now he's been... How long have you been with Neil? Since 2019. So now they're starting to figure out his body. And, you know, I guess they're finding the formula and so on. If they can nail it, I think this is going to be uh, some, something, uh, a sight to see for everybody. And I think everybody's – it's kind of like Keon. You know how everybody was worried about Keon? You know, ah, he's not being in shape. So, you know, it doesn't matter his structure. I would compare him to Keon when it comes to structure, but never really nailing his condition. If he ever nails it, you saw what happened to Keon. That can happen to Mike. That's Chris. Does he have a chance against Beyond? <laughs> well, I'm not judging from the past. But, no, no, no. I mean, don't judge the past. It's just you, what you just saw and just, just, you just, just shred that out a little bit more. They look different bodies, though. He's more like a... Absolutely, they're different bodies. Big, but answer body. the question, What's Chris. Like, don't, don't, don't go around it now. Just come on. Yeah, he's I would take Beyonce. I would take Beyonce. That's what I was waiting for. Like, what do you want me to say? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, what I, I was mean, waiting for, to say Beyonce. I wouldn't be here in fucking Vegas right now if I wouldn't take Beyonce. Hey, Chris, are you going back to Mabea, by the way? Uh, uh, yeah, eventually when I can get uh, back over to Spain, for sure. I want to. Yeah, let me know. Let's hang out a bit. I'm going to live okay. there next yeah. year. Oh, yeah? For quite some time. I mean, we we don't have a home since three years. We're just basically traveling. Like yeah. a gypsy. Like Spain. a gypsy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <a> gypsy. <laughs> I like Marbella, man. Place, man. But I can't, I can't knock you because that's what I was doing for years. All my life I was going. I went to Thailand for two weeks, came back 15 years later. Shit yeah. happens. <laughs> Shit you know, happens. This, uh, this video... Confirms everything I think about. Lat spread should be in classic physique. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. It's, my, it's, my, it's one of Mike's best poses. I think it's Chris's best pose. Yeah. I mean, all of them. Yeah, man. Just from the front, not the back, right? Call the minions. Maybe we can get <laughs> some. <laughs> the man. Did, hey, did anybody hear anything about price money? No rumors. Yeah, prize money. But I know that they're going to dip the Olympia in gold this year again. Yeah. Oh, the trophy. Yeah. 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 yeah they say. Uh, they say. Um, Phil got one, and this is going to be the second one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's jealous. I guess. Who? Phil, of course. Oh, because I think he's. He, I think he's in prep again to get the trophy. Uh, Nobody. He, he don't, he don't, he don't yeah, have no reason to be jealous of anything. He's got it all. Yeah. Yeah, but it, I, I, I wonder if, uh, if there's going to be some surprise. I guess. 
the but watch party will be some, amazing some increased or, or, price money or something like i don't know i haven't heard anything but i wouldn't be surprised if it's like you know what because we already know the Arnold is going to five hundred thousand first so as uh, and dubai dubai is also leveling up a lot yeah dubai went up a lot 60k yeah but, yeah, but that's not even close to the olympia so what i'm saying is i mean Who's gonna? No, they, who, they who, increase. What are, who are we looking at the most prestigious show? It's the Olympia, right? So Olympia always had the most prize money, right? So now since Arnold stopped following rules, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, back in the, in the back in the Weeder days, he didn't la allow Arnold to do uh, higher prize money. Yeah, but so I wouldn't be surprised if, if the Olympia steps up. And bring some okay. prize money up. Maybe the the day of the Olympia. Yeah, one thing, Mike, that you said uh, you work on a different presentation. Like you're posing differently now. Like uh, why? Like why did you learn? Why did you learn from the past that you needed to change? Because my body was changing, mm -hmm. and as your body change, and you get stronger points or you, you change your program. stronger points, you need to change or adjust. Better said, a little bit of posing. And that's what we did. We focused a lot on, as I said, backside, hamstrings, glutes, ba um, back. So we were focusing on getting the improvements visible. Yeah, I was impressed that uh, even when you turn around and you relax your upper body, showing legs, your abs were always in, which is perfect. In that video that we saw, there's, okay, a couple of moments that uh, you had an uh, arm hanging and whatever else. You know, in sense of, this is the message. Try to make every second on the stage count. So there is not a moment when anything is like, you know, not perfect. This is the only thing. It's only difference in a couple of seconds. So if you keep this in mind, you, you can make a flawless routine. And, and uh, I think it was... the photo is always going to be ready. I think it was not, more. Uh, gosh, there, not a single second on stage you could waste just hanging around and breathing and relax. You have to Mike, fucking nail every every fucking second. But From Mike, the, you gotta. If you do that, are you are you gonna spin like that? Excuse me. Are you gonna do that spin, spin? like that? Uh, the you know how? Spin, yeah, in the beginning. I don't know. Maybe yes. Maybe go no. go counterclockwise, not. Clockwise. What's the difference, and Chris? Explain it. Because it was. I don't even know what it is. The difference it was, is. It was backwards looking when he did. He went against. What do you mean? If it's backwards? backwards, if you go into body, this side, the body this side what's, go, what's the difference? Okay, but if you bring, if you walk out and you go like like this, like he did, that's not the same thing as using stepping, twist your body, <laughs> or yourself around, and then. <laughs> Does it, Chris, does it really matter, you think? Yeah. People like, don't know what they're looking at, yeah. Well, who would that be? Me. Okay, I don't even know. But there's only, it's, it might be <laughs> well, you. you didn't, you didn't Chris, grow up there you, didn't? might be you and, and you three from, others that yeah, would yeah. see that. And Frank's everybody else would say, time. look at this nice, were, this guy just turned, turned a circle, 180 <laughs> degrees. Who Did cares? you see Mike turn to the other side? He will get the extra yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. You, Chris would be the one to tell you if you turn to the other side, turn. you would be a place higher. <laughs> hey, listen, we got to talk about things that happened this uh, this past weekend too. We had two shows. Yes, two shows. Let's get to France. France. Samson Dauda throws himself into the mix two weeks out from the Olympia to win the France Pro. Come on with it, Chris. Do you think it can be risky? I I I I thought it could be, but I thought it it worked out great for him. I think yeah, I think he didn't go for it uh trying to really peak, but just be good enough to to get a decisive victory. See how you uh, just said that? Just be good enough. And just just to be good enough was way enough at that day, at that show. I'm talking about, I didn't think he was trying to nail this conditioning. Of course Just not. Like, we, we you're, you're preparing for the one show, but mm -hmm. you, you, you're good to go here and get the, get the money yeah. and go back home. And I, I think he put himself on the map and told people to listen, because we know how much he can change in two weeks. You know? Milos, what do you think? Yeah, I think it was a great move. There was zero risk, really. I mean, 
going into it, you could see his pictures and videos, and he looks uh, very impressive. And uh, yeah, so was this the best Samsung we ever saw? I don't know. Uh, Chris, you saw him in the UK, and you thought that he looked uh, absolutely fabulous there. So it's maybe comparable. I still think that this is not good enough condition to win the Olympia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but then again, we saw the whatever bad footage. Maybe if you see the you know better footage, maybe it would be different impression. I think he improved the width of the lats. That was very visible. I think what I remember his physique, his arms are bigger. You know, he was always full here and uh, legs were a little bit more separated. In my opinion, I think legs were padded down. Mm -hmm. But then. Mauro was there, and he says, no, no, no. He says uh, he looked bigger than before. Like, okay. Uh, I so think he looked bigger than before, but mm -hmm. I think a little bit more fullness in the stomach from the side pose that I saw, that if it was more just boom like that, that's going to create such such more of a bigger uh, bigger physique on the stage. I, I thought his his stomach control was very good. His I was just was... about to say the same. I thought he controlled his stomach. Not about control. Very... I'm talking about the overall volume of the upper body right now. I judge him by his gonna, front. I judge be... him by his front lat spread. And usually, when he yeah. does the front lat spread, he has his little, little, just a yeah. little, little lower belly. It's something yet. Yeah. It's and, not... and this time he controlled that much better. I think he's on on a perfect track. I think he knows what he has to do. And some of the comments after the show is going to help him even more. I think we're going to see the absolute best Samsung at the Olympia, and I think yeah. it's going to be it's going to be crazy. Well, Mike, like what I do you think? Samsung has an awesome physique, and he changed a bit. Of course, he made some improvements. I think it's smart. First of all, he gets a little bit momentum just to show his body on stage, and people get a preview of what's what's going to happen at the Olympia, and. As you said, we know how Samsung can change in a like short period of time. And if he is able to shock the judges again after two weeks of traumatic changes, he will get it will be rewarded, I guess. <laughs> hey, but Dennis, he he did change. I mean, his size is so much better now. Those body parts are so much uh, better than the last time he was on stage. Mm -hmm. So just coming down all the way around the waist, front and back, it's going to make, a. I think, all the difference he needs. Yeah, right there. Imagine, imagine, imagine him from what he looked like on, on Saturday. Imagine him dropping five pounds. Imagine him getting rid of the water. Maybe he didn't. I don't think he did anything for the water. As much, Milos, you know Samson. He doesn't like to, to Yeah, you know. he doesn't. So he probably, he, probably did, he probably went there without. <laughs> Yeah, but, but, but look at this way. I mean, uh, I always started, he has a physique to beat uh, the rest. And then uh, he lost on conditioning. Uh, uh, Hadi and Derek are going to come in as good condition or better than last year. So, you know, can he beat them with the physique that he has? Yeah, but with condition, not yet. So he's going to have to really suffer down. You know, he's 300 pounder. I mean... Uh, Mauro told me that backstage, I guess they were waiting and he was 136 kilos, which is 299 point something. Okay. So that's how big he was. My first impression when I was seeing the video, like maybe not this big, but Mauro saw him in front of like, you know, six feet away. He says, yeah, he's bigger now. Yeah, and so his, even, his even waist if, is smaller. Even if he yes, drops 10 pounds. Wider. Even if he drops hmm? 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. just, just imagine, that, yeah, he might not bring the hardy condition. I mean, that's, I, I don't even think anybody's going to bring hardy's condition. <laughs> but uh, I don't think Samson need to be hardy's condition to beat him. I don't think so either. I think Samson could be just an absolute best version of Samson would be... Uh, and and then Hardy the way we know him if we don't listen we saw Hardy at the at, at the uh, at the Arnold I mean everybody was I mean I was shocked so how how is he going to top that especially in the same year perfect scenario would be to to duplicate yeah yeah I don't know if he's going to duplicate 
I, we, we, I, I I'm just saying that would be perfect scenario. Would be if he can duplicate yeah, yeah. Uh, Columbus, and then uh, if Samson comes in better, because you said Chris, you said yourself in uh, and and Hardy was slightly off in in England. You said it was close. Yeah. So Hardy can miss time a little bit. I mean, it's not always perfect. You know. What I'm no. saying? Well, only when he traveled. You remember. Like 2020, you know, he came like day before the prejudging, yeah. and you know he was off. And Chris and Cito talk about these kind of things, right? Uh, there is not in 24 hours you can't lose the body fat. It's just the water manipulation. Mm -hmm. The water that he was holding for whatever reason, flight or anything, was not there on Saturday. And on Saturday he was clearly second, beating Phil Heat and you know uh, who are the the Brandon Curry. Uh, he only didn't beat. Big Rami at the finals, but even that was questionable, right? Because uh, Big Rami was winning and he was all the way down to fourth. So judges are not going to really give him first place. He he gave uh, Big Rami a uh, run for the money on a Saturday and he beat the, the rest. So look at this. Look at Hadi 2014, 15, 16, 17. Ripped and dry, and I've seen him when he turned pro in uh, in Dubai. Jesus that was probably Christ. 20 pounds less muscle, so you know the bigger you are, the harder it is to get that look. Yeah, but he's replicating that look with the 20, 25 pounds extra. I think he's bigger this year. Legs are thicker, you know. Uh, Hardy? I, yeah, Hardy's legs are thicker than than last year. Has he <laughs> showed legs here somewhere? Yeah, there, there was a couple of pictures in these. Rock hard. I haven't seen. I'll Does just he hope he's not getting too big and sacrifices a condition. That would yeah. be the downfall. He showed, Dennis, he showed that conditioning at the Arnold. If you take a step back from that, they're going to be like, yeah. you're off. Yeah. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. You got you to gotta beat your last look, and, that, and that's not too <laughs> Yeah. All right. I mean, hey. and then, uh, what, and then uh, what about the uh, the Legion? How'd you feel about that show? I didn't really follow the Legion because I totally forgot about it, to be honest, <laughs> while I was watching France. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, so, but I, I, saw, I saw pictures, of course, and uh, I mean, I mean, Brett, yeah, I saw the comparison with Brett and um, Bruno, Bruno, and uh, yeah. I, I think that was easy, easy to judge. I mean, Brett was peeled, Bruno was big, but Brett, I, I, for me, he was just in better condition. Yeah, he he had a complete package for sure. They asked me if uh, that's improved, Brett, uh, uh, and I think I thought so. Then somebody posted the pictures, comparison pictures, two thousand twenty-two, and uh, and you can't really see a major size improvement. He was he was, okay. he was missing a little bit of things. I thought he was what missing a little bit. Like he got the side pose where it's like I was like I was expecting more out of. Uh, just the quad. I see he's training really hard. He improved some areas, but some areas not. And the the abs and stuff, you got to do a little bit better job there, I think. Mm. Ab shot, yeah, ab shot. You got to yeah. do a bit better job. Yeah. But the legs improved, I think, a uh, little bit more sweeping and very separated, good conditions. Because yeah. yeah. that was his weak point before, right? Yeah. I mean, he has everything. Beautiful physique. Did I just didn't know if he was really bigger. Didn't he come from physique a long time ago? Sorry? Yeah, he was man's physique and then class. Yeah. And look, uh, he had a early qualification. Uh, Bruno, my guy, was top three in the last three shows, all three. Yeah. You know, he was hoping that he can get the early qualification for Olympia this time. And, uh, you know, people that were watching the show, they said, like, it was not as apparent condition difference as we can see in those videos. And uh, I promise you, uh, Chris, you are here. Uh, Bruno... Uh, it's coming today. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to also work on his posing. I don't know where you're going to be. Are you, you in know, a... know what you need to work on, Milos? Tell him to stop showing something. Don't do not do that. Every time he turns around, he shows his look at my glutes. Like, what? <laughs> That's got <Yeah>. to stop. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> so you're going to have, so you're going to have him at the house or? No, no. He is, uh, you know, going to be. Uh, I'm way too busy. I'm going to Salt Lake City, right? Uh, this oh. weekend. Eh? Why? <laughs> Milo said, I'm way too busy. UFC, PO7, <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, UFC. Milo said, I'm way too busy. <laughs> I'm going to UFC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> I would be busy too if I, man. I don't even, I'm jealous. Anyways, yeah. listen, since we have Mike here, now I wouldn't want to hold him up too long because he's competing in 10, 11 days or whatever that yeah. is. Let's go do a final because this is the last one. It's going to air this Sunday. This is the last one before the Olympia. Let's do a final classic physique prediction. Since Mike is our guest, he's going to be the one last to predict the top five in Classic. Now let's do top six. Top six in Classic. Milos, we'll start with you. I think Chris is Chris. You know, it's very hard to dethrone the champion that has that structure. If this is his last Olympia, he's going to come crazy. Better than last year, he's going to be hard to beat. I was seeing... Uh, uh, Ramon and uh, Vasily uh, going for a second place. Uh, now, I mean, uh, Mike made me a believer, but uh, I'm gonna be still skeptic. I mean, if I judge just the physique, right? This physique ripped to pieces. Yep. Same, condi That's same what condition. I'm... Yeah, same condition. I'm gonna assume. Peter. I'm just gonna assume today that he's gonna be in crazy condition. If I'm wrong. I will call him out afterwards, but for right now, but I assume he's going to be on. If he's from 2019 trying to reach that and never reached so far, it's kind of you don't want to really count on, you know, so... Well, then you can't count on Samson either. You know, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Samson is crazy condition, he wins. It's no question, you know. Okay, but let, let's take that's that's class. Still, okay, so, so I'm going to still go with... Uh, Chris? Vasily second, third uh, R Ramon, okay? Uh, and now for the fourth place, you know, I love Urs, uh, but the upper body of uh, Mike can really dominate him. And uh, uh, I think that Mike can squeak in there now. Uh, so, so you put fourth. Mike in fourth? Yeah, even though he's going to be, because he is our guest, so now I didn't have him last last week. When I watch this video right now, <laughs> I'm shocked. Mm -hmm. Crazy abs, full chest, shoulders, arms, uh, crazy back, uh, separated legs, minus calves. But, uh, you know. <laughs> he's, got, he's got calves. He's got calves. Don't let him bullshit you. Yeah, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's even got even calves. Better. Even better. Uh, so, oh. So you're Main saying number. you have Urs in fifth? Yeah. Uh, Mike Fort, Urs fifth. And who do we have in sixth? Brian. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Real deal. What say you? Uh, Brian first. <laughs> I wish you would I be. Chris I wish you. Second. I wish you would wake up one morning and just be. Chris honest. second. Hold on. Hold on. Brian. Chris. You already know that's not going to happen. Dino. Ramon. But that would be a shocker, man. That would be fucking something. If Brian comes in and wins the Olympia, would he quit after this? No. <laughs> he said, I'm gone. <laughs> no, he will not. All right, who's he, who you got in fourth? Uh, Wesley. Wesley. Mike. And Earth. Ballon. The gentleman's a battle for the fifth. All right, I'm going. I'm going with Chris. I'm going with Wesley. I'm going. I'm going with Urs. I'm going with Ramon. I'm going with Mike and Brian in sixth. Mike, your turn. I saw that you write it down, right? Yeah. So let's make a bet. Every one of us has chosen their champions. Mm -hmm. The one who's closest 
gets a dinner from the other three guys. So three dinners. Three dinners. Oh, one dinner yeah. shared by three guys. Which way you want it? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to win the bet anyway. So if yeah. I meet Chris in Marbella, he needs to pay for my food. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> food? Give us your five. A uh, six. My five. I'm going for Chris, Ramon, Mike. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ramon, Mike, Mike and third. Wesley. Wesley fourth. <laughs> you, you speak like a mic, like which mic? So Wesley fourth. <laughs> yes. Brian and Urs. Oh, you don't like Urs, do you? We had a good conversation yesterday, and basically we don't hate each other. It's just a lot of big in German media in between. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. It's just, and, and you know what? I don't understand how you guys both from Germany. You guys should be, even though you guys are not teammates, but you guys are representing the same country. You guys should have a bond. That uh, I, I, especially yeah, when I you travel to, outside into a different country, you shouldn't look like you guys don't talk to each other or don't know each other. I, I talked to him yesterday and I asked him why he blocked me on Instagram and every <laughs> other social platform. And he was like, yeah, I just feel pressure on Instagram. That's why I avoid following other athletes. I don't know if that's true, if he just wants to make me feel good, but I can understand uh, there's some pressure involved, especially when you're fighting for a top three spot. And mm. if he wants to get rid of the, tent, the pressure, the tension, that's fine. I'm okay with that. As long as he's honest and straightforward. Yeah. No, I, I believe that he is, because Instagram and, and social media can really fuck with your mind when you focus on something. We didn't have that problem back then, thank God, because Chris would have never came off his phone because he was on his phone all day anyways, just texting. Can I imagine there would have been some Instagram or MySpace or, or, or you porn or whatever. Everybody, can you imagine, Chris? We would <laughs> you porn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we were saved from that shit. <laughs> so, which brings oh, us. Shit. I'm doing 10 show of the year. I'm fucking horny. Which brings us to the open final prediction, which will air on Sunday. So there's no going back from this one. I'm going to start Can again I, with Milos. Here you go. Okay. I, I didn't change. Okay. I'm going to change this to si sixth place. First, uh, Hardy. Second, Samson. Uh, third, I still believe that Andrew can beat Derek, but uh, I know that probably it's not going to happen. Hold on, Milos. One second. Hold on. I've got to make this so I don't mess this up and don't remember. Uh, Hardy, Samson. I, I stick with that, that too. With... Possibility that if Samson comes crazy, he could uh, do Well, possibility that yeah, Derek so comes crazy, and then we'll need to yeah. set it, we need to set it in stone now. Hardy, Samson, I'll go with a Derek third, even though I like uh, Andrew's physique better. I think that uh, Derek is going to be third, uh, Andrew fourth, Nick fifth, and I'm going to put Hunter ahead of uh, Brandao, because uh, I've seen that the last video, pictures, whatever, of Hunter and shit, he looks good. I saw and a picture of Brandon. Oh, I've never seen it. Just, he sent me one yesterday, but I can't show it. I have to promise not to show it. But? But nothing. Okay, give us your predictions then. Uh, well, um, I'll, I'll, I'll get to mine. Yeah, let's finish sure. yours. So you got, who you have in sixth? Uh, Hunter. Hunter, okay. Chris? So are you, baby? Yeah. Uh, um, Derek, Hadi, no, wait, Derek. <laughs> he's he's worried about losing followers. Yeah. No, no, I'm trying to. I'm trying to, I got them all right here. Just, your, your mind like a wind blows. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So Derek? Still got Nick in my top three. So, okay, so Derek Hardy, correct? Derek Hardy, Nick. Nick. Uh, Samson. 
Um, Andrew Brandau. We haven't been talking about Fuda, John De La Rosa. Well, you don't even have him in the top six. What do we need to talk about? Hey, no, I'm just saying we haven't been talking. <laughs> yeah, but we have a lot of guys. We can talk about 19 more, but they, if you don't have him in the top six, we don't need to predict him. Unless you um, want to predict someone in the top 10 or top 15. Honorable mentions. <laughs> but mention him. Go ahead. While Mike, while Mike thinks about his top six. Go ahead, Chris. Got Send the flowers out. Fuda. Fuda, no? Yeah, Fuda, yeah. Yeah, him. And, Olympia, and, uh, it's first. John Del Rosa. Because John Del Rosa, I mean, to be honest, even at the Arnold Classic, he held his own a little bit up there with those those guys that was uh, before in front of him. He even had a mm -hmm. chance to pull up. He faded a little bit uh, back and forth a little bit. But I thought, you know, he started out pretty strong. Yeah, I would... Yeah, I, I would talk about all these guys uh, Saturday, our podcast on Saturday at the Expo, because that's when we saw everybody. It's better to break the whole thing down. For, for right now, I'm really not too focused on who's placing in the top 15 or top 10. You know? I asked Dexter to come by. Yeah? Good. Yeah. Him and, uh, Mike, him and give me your top six in the open bodybuilding. That's going to be the winning six, 100%. Okay, so you're Derek. a fortune teller, right? Do everything you say comes to fruition? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to win the dinners. Okay. <laughs> As you guys know, I'm on I diet. I eat a lot, man. I'm focused on food, guys. All right. I eat a lot. All right, who's winning? Derek. Second, Hadi. Third, Samson. Number four, Andrew. Five, Brandao. Six, Hunter. There is Nick. Nick in the top six. Who? Nick. Nick Walker. No. Oh. Holy shit. Uh, you know. All right, then. It's not Nick Hader. What are, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell Nick. You're the Nick I... Hader. What is he? He's a... Nick I'm not a Nick Hader. He's a fucking freak, honestly. But Why as do you class... not have him in the top six? What tells you that he is not good enough to be in the top six this year? Because I'm the classic guy right here. Right, that's why you're in classic physique, but we're talking bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, but Nick has a freaking freak look, but he doesn't bring the same aesthetics as a Samson or a Brandau or a Derek. Like, Derek has freaky lines. But if, but you, you, follow, if you follow bodybuilding for the last, let's say, let's go back only 20 years, there was always some freaks with not the most aesthetic physiques in the top, and they would never get out. And if, yep. especially if you have like three, four guys that are, that are literally symmetrical and everything, you got to have some freak in there. You know, I don't care if it's a Nick or if it's uh, uh, whoever. We had. Dorian Yates wasn't, wasn't the most aesthetic guy. We're talking bodybuilding. We're not judging classic now. So that's a different ball game. So I, I see what you're saying. Minos is the same. He prefers the more streamlined, but you can't overlook Nick, what he looks like, what, he, what, what kind of condition he can get in, and how much he improved his shape Pretty over the years. Guy. Yes. And okay. he doesn't, I, listen, we, we only see the things we don't like, or people see only the things they don't like, but I guarantee you, if you sit in the front row or somewhere close to the stage and you see him come out, you see him how he handles himself at prejudging, you're going to be like, damn, this dude is making the best out of his body. 100%. I saw him backstage. So many freaking funny stories. You know, uh... Uh, from, a, from my standpoint, I prefer the aesthetic look over the freak look. That's just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I never said that Nick is not a great, he is one of the best athletes we have on this planet Earth. But when I have to pick and choose a physique, I would I would go for a more aesthetic yeah. type of physique. Me too. But, but let me ask you that uh, 93, Dorian uh, against Flex and Sean and, you know, so. Dorian. Yeah, we, we have Flex's and Sean's fans because you know, similar shapely physiques and all that stuff. But did Dorian beat them that day? 100%, yes. 
Okay, so the same way, uh, I mean, freaky Nick can show it up. He's going to outcondition for sure Samson, right? He's going to outcondition Derek in uh, parts other than than glutes and, and back, upper back, everything else, shoulders, arms, you know, everything else. He's going to outcondition. He's going to probably outcondition uh, uh, Andrew Jack, right? And he has uh, enough muscle mass or more. I mean, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tricky if Nick shows up. God knows, and nobody saw his pictures, so he's probably looking like a freak. Nobody like, knows. It will be interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. But anyway, I just put him fifth anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Dennis, Hadi, Derek, Samson. Nick, Brandao, and Andrew. Oh. Oh, so you saw Brandon Curry and you didn't put him in top six. <laughs> that was like, yeah, that was like, this is my final prediction. Unfortunately. Oh, Milos, stop doing that. <laughs> I mean, I, I just like to use my brain and think, you know what I mean? No, I, di I didn't even see anything else. I just... Uh, Go by what I saw yesterday from Brandon. Brand, not Brandon, Brandao, Raphael. Brandao. Oh, oh, did. Did. Ah, Bra I said Brandao, Bra uh, Brandao not Brandon. Yeah. You said Brandon. Okay, my bad. Okay, Brandao. Raphael, Raphael. Yeah, Raphael. Oh, 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 okay. You, 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 you put him now fifth? You top first, right? I put him in fifth, yeah. No, I put okay. him in fourth. Holy okay. shit. Yeah. I mean, he's my teammate. I know some things behind the scenes. No, they send me so videos and pictures. I, and just last night, he sent me this picture, and he said, this don't, please don't, don't show it to anyone. This is, I said, I saw this one already. He said, no, 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 this is from today. And guys, don't forget, he added 16 pounds. Oh, and you can see it. You can see it. Who did? Huh? Brandau? Yeah, Brandau. Oh, he's way bigger. Way full, bigger. Full as a... And his, my and text his back to him was, you are full as a fucking house. That was my message back. Full as a tick. <laughs> I mean, I love his physique if he is ripped. Let's just hope he brings the condition the because if he matches, if he brings this size, and it's the same thing I told Mike. <laughs> if you bring this size with the right condition, you're battling. You're battling. I yeah. mean, he's going to put himself on the map big time this year. Both of you, you and, and Rafael. If you bring the condition. If you don't bring the condition, you're going to... Stock's going to go. Wow. Oh. That's how I see it. And right. guys, just because we predict these things doesn't mean this is what's going to happen. Most of the time, we're all wrong anyways. And we're making content. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing this to piss no one off. And I know some athletes are really, they really hurt by you not giving them the win. And, uh, but that's just the way it is. And we're not here to fucking dog you or, or, or make you feel bad. Terrain hard, you know, bring your best and let the judges decide who's winning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mike, I appreciate the time. I'm brother. I know last couple of days it's going to be tough, rough and tough. But listen, you know what you're doing this for. I can't wait to see you get on that stage and battle. You know, this is what you this is what you're working for. So, you know, I hope everything works out. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in Vegas. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what, what time are you coming? I'm coming Wednesday morning, early Wednesday. Okay, so quite before the show. Yeah, just let me know. We need to talk about something right after, but... I'll be there. I'll be there. Hey, hey, uh, hey Dennis. Yes. I know, you wanna, I know you wanna go eat sushi when you come, but you should come to the soul food restaurant. Oh, where? Oh, Hadi Marie's. I went there the other day, and uh, the owner used to play for the Broncos. Uh, oh, is the one you trained with? And in Marshall. Yeah, Brandon Marshall. He's we're gonna we're gonna train, but he. So you met him eating. Eric, is that how I'm you guys you, you guys met? I'm telling you, brother. And you in there? Are, are you, Mike, are you uh, in there bulking up? Because because uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what's the name? Paul want to go and uh, uh, Dexter want to go. Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah, let's go. Let's go Thursday. At Marie's. Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday, whatever. Yeah, Thursday be good. I cannot go to two restaurants that's, on Wednesday. I don't eat nasty, that much guys. anymore. That's pretty nasty. 
Oh, we the day the show. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Listen, you got another little bit over a week left, man, and then it's on. Sam, Definitely. you're gonna you're gonna pay for my fucking dinner post post <laughs> <laughs> Every, Listen, everything's on tape, so there's no going back from our bet. It stands. And uh, you know, Milos. I just didn't get who who pays for the dinner? The one that, who is right? No, the no, one, man, the, of course not. So there is three guys that can be wrong. So who is paying? Well, he the way he three said it was wrong. he's going to get from each one who's wrong at he's dinner. Have to pay oh, so, I said, why don't well, we just chip in? I why said, why don't we? All about hey, dinners anyway. I figured, why don't we just chip in together and instead of taking them to McDonald's, we'll take them to Wendy's or somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. But he probably wants to go to Foco de Chao. Oh, bro! Wait, uh, IHOP is already, already listed. Okay. That's the famous hey, family. They also breakfast. have a, a donut shop here that adds ice cream on it. I want to try that one. Oh God! Yeah. We have our <laughs> traditional. Man, I, post I, I, just had, I just, I just, right talked, to, I just talked to someone the other day. I can't remember who it was. He said like, "Is Chris is getting shape?" I said, "Man, he did well for a minute." I'm all right. I'm. I'm you still good? You, you still training? Yeah, okay. I still got my meal prep food here. Oh, okay. All right. So got my meal prep but you're still food. eating good, though. That will sometimes, never stop. Right? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. That will never stop. I tried the, uh, I tried the, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Scotch Primes, eighty or sixty-eight, whatever, at the Palms last night. That was pretty damn good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Milos, but if you can, Wednesday next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. We Sometime we early it. evening. It doesn't have to be early, you yeah. know. Yeah. How far is it from the strip? How far is it from the resorts world? What? Ten minutes. Ten, Ten minutes? Oh, the sushi place? Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you been there? Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. The was off the charts. I'm going to go. I'm going to go back. Well, let's go Wednesday then. And All Thursday, right. we can do the Thursday are between. You, are you in a wheelchair, Milos? Are you? Pressing? I'm not, man. Huh? You're just like, I can't wear the shoes yet. So you gonna be in socks? You wanna see my toes? No. No. You gonna be in socks? <laughs> hey Miloš, I got something for you. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, look, seven dollars ninety socks. Yeah, I was, I was socks. Oh. Oh, that thing. I thought you were gonna show me a sock. Get him some <laughs> no. socks, man. These shoes will fit your feet, hundred percent. Super cool. <laughs> what is that called? I don't know. That's freaking plastic shoes, seven ninety nine. Some Walmart offer, or whatever. Yeah, but they really? so you stand well, in there for a while. You juice up nicely. Yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> this is super uh, high end designed. Can you see it? Super has high end for seven dollars. You come on, go go somewhere. Seven ninety nine. I'm sure they high end. Old folks home. I'm sure they high end like Thailand. <laughs> yeah, they look like a six dollar shoe. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Get that in a convalescent hospital. <laughs> All right. So, hey the, guys. so the clickbait cannot be Mike Sommerfeld says he's winning the Olympia this year. And he's he placed himself third, right? Placed himself third. So, right. I'm no. I already know the the title for the show. Good. I'm. Only, I know the title. All right. I don't want to. But uh, we have. <laughs> no, no, no! I, I already know the title. Yeah. Okay. I'm a, what's that I word that this you is, don't like? Hey, what's that word you don't like, Mila? The revealed. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> room. Mike reveals his place here. No, no, no! I got a good title. Mike reveals. <laughs> I got a good title for this one, and I'm. Okay. Uh, it's gonna work. Mike, kick ass. Kick ass, Mike. Okay. Yeah, this, is, this is a do or die. You know that, right? I see some body building, brother. There's no second chance. I can tell you why. I believe 99% is going to be Chris last year. So he will say thank you. He will leave. And <laughs> the spot is wide open. Everyone this year will fight for actually 25 to get the momentum and the top spot to win the Olympia. Mm -hmm. This is what everyone is doing. This is why Wesley comes in. Incredibly good, Ramon, Urs. Everybody will bring their A game for a reason. Everybody and wants to I'm... set themselves up for for being the front runner. Yeah, yeah. Mike, you've changed a lot from uh, the first time I saw you. Was that in uh, TJ? Hmm. Beat in TJ before Tijuana. Yeah, when he beat Urs. Yeah, 2019. This is basically where the picture you can see right here was the 
I guess I took the picture two days after the show. Oh yeah. 2019, yeah. Changed a lot though. Changed a lot, lot, lot Mike, lot. how old how old are you now? You're still so young, right? I would not say young. I'm uh, 30 already. Oh, so you're 30 now. Okay. <laughs> still young. You're young. <laughs> We I'm got, competing uh, in plastic. I'm not 22 anymore. Guys, we got another guy from Germany coming doing the Olympia. He won. He qualified for the Olympia. He actually turned pro last year. Won the qualifier for the Olympia. Goes to the Olympia. He's 23 years old. Great potential. Mike, am I lying? No. He's a super humble guy. Great potential. You know, it's humble. They're all humble when they start. Everybody was humble. You know, Mike, you humble. I, I mean, everybody yeah. humble. You know, the the most important thing is can they hold on to that in the next couple of years if they have a little bit of success? Because that's when their humbleness goes out the window. So, but no, yeah. but this guy has is tall. He's a young kid, gets ultra hard, and has a bright future. I will predict him to fight for the uh, uh, top three in the next two three years. Um, Same thing I told Urs in the beginning. Yeah, you, uh, I was going to say. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I know. Uh, just like yes. last year. All right. I'll see you all in Vegas. See you soon. I'll see you soon.